Hello, Lori Elke here. If you have not seen any of my videos before, I am an artist and art teacher, and I just love sharing my art with others. So I had a question online about making different textures, like on buildings, um, especially like maybe an old barn that's made out of stones or a house that's made out of brick. And so I just decided to throw a bunch of textures into this one just to kind of show you how I usually handle them. And so I just did this simple little painting, but as you can see, there's window. So you have the glass texture, you've got the wood from the door, you've got the stones and then the bricks. So I just wanted to kind of play around with all of those different textures and show you kind of what I do to make those work in watercolor. So take a look and follow along with me and see if you can create these different textures as well. Have fun, and if you are liking these videos, please subscribe to my channel so that you can be informed when I put more up on my channel. All right, thanks guys, we'll see you later. I'm starting off with using my pencil just to get some basic shapes on the paper. I'm doing a rectangle for the door. And then I'm doing a square for the window. I also want to kind of show where the stones are going to start and the bricks will stop. And then I'm just kind of really lightly sketching in some horizontal lines. Now I'm using a flat brush and I'm just getting the background wet around the door and the window. I just want to throw in some color. This one's kind of a fun step. You can really throw in whatever colors you want. I kind of wanted to have some warm tones in my painting, so I started off with kind of a burnt sienna um, brown, and then now I'm adding a little bit of ultramarine blue. I'm even kind of adding some speckles of color, throwing in a little bit of red too, or magenta. While that's drying, I'm using kind of a drier brush stroke and I'm just making some dry brush strokes up and down on the door with some brown I'm using kind of a raw umber. And then for the window, I'm using a blue and brown mixed and I'm just filling in the little window panes. While they're still wet, I'm dropping in a little more color because I want it to be pretty dark. I'm also adding a little bit of dark under the door and then some more darkness into the background. You can use paper towel to kind of blot. It creates an interesting texture. And I'm really trying to go for some interesting textures. All right, I'm still using my flat brush and now I have a ultramarine blue and a burnt umber brown mixture. And I'm going in and creating some stone lines. And then while they're wet, every once in a while, I'll go back in and drop a little more color in that'll kind of spread along where the lines are to make them more interesting to look at. And I'm trying to vary my shapes and sizes so that it doesn't look too perfect. So some of mine are a little bit longer and wider. Other ones are smaller and thinner. I don't want them to be too perfect. So the bricks are, are more set in that way that, that they have to be kind of nice where the stones can, can vary more. I'm trying to vary my sizes. I'm also trying to vary my how dark my paint is. Some areas are darker than others. I'm just kind of going in and dropping a little bit more color in, in places to darken some of the corners where the stones meet. I 
Next I'm going to mix a brick color. And again, your bricks can be pretty much any color you want. I went with just a brick red, so I have kind of a red mixed with a little bit of brown. And the bricks are a little bit more planned out. A flat brush works best for bricks because it's a lot easier to paint them in than with a round brush. So I'm still sticking with my angled flat brush. And you can see I am just kind of adding each row of bricks so that the brick above the ones below kind of goes in right in the middle of the two below it. And it's important that you kind of start in one spot and work out from there so that you can figure out where all the bricks should meet in other areas. So I went over the door and now I can kind of work down in between the door and the window. And bricks too can be different shades um, and even different colors if you want to get real fancy. Sometimes while the bricks are wet and you can go in and add a little bit more color or more paint just to kind of make them a little bit darker. Some people really like getting fancy and making all these bricks like this. Sometimes when I don't feel like going this crazy and, and making every single brick, I'll just do like a couple bricks here and there that kind of give the people the idea of that's what I'm painting, but then I won't paint every single brick on a house. That's usually, you know, when I am working with a bunch of other details too and it's a little farther away. Now I could leave the wall like this and um, it's very defined right now so very clear both the rock wall part and the brick wall part but I will go back in later and kind of add some color over the top just so the lines aren't so perfect. So you can see I'm doing that with the rocks on the bottom. I'm adding some other colors in there, just kind of blotting some paint. And if some of my lines were still wet, it's okay because it just kind of will bleed in with the other color and make it so that those lines aren't so perfect. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the, the brick area after I give the door another coat of paint and the ground some paint too. So you can see with the bricks, some of those are still wet too. And if I just take this nice light wash over them, it kind of makes it so that they're not so perfect. Kind of blends them a little bit. Now I have a darker shade, so it's kind of that blue-brown mixture. And I just wanted to kind of accentuate the door and the window a little more. So I'm putting a little bit of that color along the top and bottom of the door and the window and then I'm adding this step by the door too. I'm also adding a little bit of turquoise to the door so that the wood's a little more weathered and I'm doing the same to the window so that those white lines don't stand out quite so much. Now I switch to my round brush and I'm just shading in the bottom of each of the rocks on the bottom of the wall and I'm trying to kind of stay towards the left of the rocks and then I'm just adding a little bit of shading and color to the bricks and then a little bit more to the door as well. The rocks and the bricks I usually like my brush to be wet but the door when I add any shading to it I use a pretty dry brush to get that texture of the wood. These are the little metal things that hold the door on and then I'm using the tip of my brush to make the lines between the wood for my door. I'm also darkening the windows a little bit to make them look like it's nice and dark inside. So yeah, it's a lot of fun just to play with all the different textures. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you have fun experimenting with them as well.